Hey folks, AWR Hawkins, Breitbart News. I want to talk to you real quick about economist and gun scholar John Lott's op-ed in the Wall Street Journal this week. He made a very important point. He looked at Joe Biden's push to repeal the Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act. That act protects gun makers from frivolous lawsuits. In a case where a gun was legally made and legally sold, the Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act protects the gun maker from frivolous suits. Biden wants to repeal it. Biden wants gun makers to face lawsuits over the misuse of guns, over gun crime. And what Lott said is, folks, think about it. What if we apply that same mentality to car makers? Ford, Chevrolet, Tesla. What if we were able to file frivolous suits against them in situations where a car was legally made and legally sold, yet misused by a bank robber, by someone who drank too much, by somebody who wasn't paying attention? Lod points out that in 2018, there were nearly 40,000 deaths related to automobiles, nearly 40 thousand there were 4.5 million injuries related to automobiles and he says again now take those numbers and just think what if we could back up and sue ford and sue chevy and sue tesla for every time someone was drinking and driving or using a car in the commission of a crime or distracted driving or whatever and it caused injury or death how long would car makers exist what he says, in his opinion, they wouldn't exist very long. They go broke pretty quick. And he suggests that's the exact end game that Joe Biden and the Democrats seek by opening, opening up gun makers to frivolous suits.